Well, figuring out how to file your tax returns can seem way too complicated. How many times have you said we've got to do this differently in this country? Well, the good news is there is a plan underway in Washington right now to reform the U.S. tax code. It's called the blank slate. It may not be what we hope for. Here with everything you know, need to know about blank slate. Is there really much to know, Sherry, about blank slate? Well, heads up. <laughs> it sounds like everything a little else, Heads up. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you, Sherry yeah. Olson. Here, our Fox 29 common sense lawyer. I mean, I read blank slate. Now, come on. Well, here's the thing. The tax code hasn't been revised for over 30 years, Roxanne. And in the interim, there have been about 15,000 different little changes. So, like you said, it's become really complicated. But changing the tax code, taking away deductions and exemptions and credits is really unpopular. So what the Senate Finance Committee has done is they've said, we're going to remove ourselves from the hot, the hot seat. And we're going to assume that every single credit and exemption and deduction is just out of the tax code. It's all on the table for discussion, and we're going to give the other senators until July 26th to let us know which ones sh they think should survive and we should put back in. Now, that's exactly the opposite of what the committee usually does. Usually, they start by drafting a bill and then they circulate it, but again, this takes them out of the hot seat. Well, you know, I heard in some of the stuff circulating was like mortgage interest might get dropped, things like that. Now, we also hear, too, billion-dollar companies with great earnings Absolutely. don't pay any taxes, and then the average American, you know, we're, we're paying a lot of taxes. Right. We have to do everything, and we have to pay. So what, what does this mean for the average American? Well, here's the thing. Right now, if we're assuming it's a blank slate, some of the deductions and credits and, and uh, exclusions that we benefit from include uh, benefiting from contra charitable contributions or from putting away retirement savings or real estate, for example, which happens to be the most widely held asset for most American families. So we're talking folks like us benefit to the tune of thousands of dollars a year. Obviously, the more money you make, the more you can benefit. But we're talking about the mortgage interest deduction. Mm -hmm. We're talking about, you know, you and I don't have to pay income tax on the money we spend for our real estate taxes every year. We're talking about if we sell our homes, not having to pay the capital, capital gains, gains taxes. All of that is on the table and could potentially be excluded if the senators don't come up with reasons to add this back to what they're calling the pardon list. Well, so how are they going to decide what goes in and what goes out? Great question. Well, right now there's a three-pronged test. So in order to survive, a senator has to argue that what they want to be kept in the code uh, helps grow the economy, helps make a simpler, more fair tax code, and promotes an important tax policy. So folks who want in more information can go to taxreform.gov. There's also actually a petition that you can sign that will go to the Senate and explain to them why you think these tax provisions that benefit you should stay in the tax code. Now, all this is coming up by the 26th. July 26th is the deadline. So if you want to move, if you want to speak out, you need to do that soon. Sherry thank you so much for sure. being with us. Let's go back to the anchor desk.